Good afternoon or good evening when this video reaches you from Yami BTV. <clears throat> after 26 years, after the last time I saw him in Parkhurst, I believe it was the category A's of Parkhurst, my old mucker down here, Yorkshire Leeds, Billy Burnside. Nice to see good you. Good to after. see you again, mate. All right. Good to see you after all these years, my old son. Yeah, thank so, you for having me on, mate. All right. Uh, it's a pleasure, Bill. Uh, we're going to take it right from... Um, the top if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah, okay. So during those days when I met you, yeah. um, I was with you in Parkhurst. That's when I first No 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 we first no, met yeah, yeah, down no. the block Blocking in Armley. Armley and, we and were both, both on a lay down. Days, right. Then I saw you yeah. again in Durham. Yeah. You were on a lay down from Franklin. I'd been sent up uh, from a lay down in Whitemore. Yeah, I was on a lay down from from somewhere. Yeah, <coughs> somewhere yeah, but I, I saw you before. Part yeah, of this, like, yeah. But I was on the circuit. Yeah, I just come from circuit, White yeah, Block. Come back. Uh, but yeah. I never spent. I spent more time with you in Parker. Yes, yeah, that's but right. I yeah. really <coughs> didn't get to know you know much about your life if you get what I mean, Billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Partner sometimes <coughs> yeah, 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 I understand. During that time yeah. in Parker, um, but from the beginning of time, yeah, um, we start with. Um, family life, mum, dad, okay. school, that kind of stuff, Billy. Really. So take yeah. it from where you would like to take it. Uh, born, born here in Leeds. Yeah. Um, born to uh, Roma Gypsy uh, parents. Uh, when I was born, my uh, my mother left me in the hospital bed a few a matter of hours after my birth. Uh, she got up and says, fuck him, I didn't want him anyway, and walked out and left me. Um, <clears throat> so... I was then taken, obviously, into care with social services and put in a home in an area of Meanwood here in Leeds. Um, then after... Is I was, that, was that the name of the, the home? No, it was in the area of Meanwood. I don't know what the home oh, was. Okay, there. okay. And then um, <clears throat> when I was six weeks old, I was put in with a foster family. Yeah. Six weeks old? Yeah. So, mum, dad, as soon as you was born, basically then... Well, what what had happened was um, my mother and father had already separated. Right. Um, <clears throat> and his mother, my grandmother, had been been run over and, and killed, pure accident, uh, around Christmas time, seventy one. He came up for the funeral. Yeah. And that's when I was conceived. Uh, after the the funeral and the wake and everything, he went back down to London. Mm. He obviously always assumed I, I, well, you know, I was with my mother. I get you. Uh, by the time anything came out, by then social services had made me a ward of court uh, and whatnot. So, so that was that. So the the, the ward of court, because obviously uh, I resonate with that because I was in care for yeah. not as young as that, uh, which is really rather horrendous, Billy. But so they <clears> basically <throat> went into foster care yeah. at six weeks old. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, and explain that, you know, um, foster mum, foster dad, uh, did they yeah. have any more children and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, they, had, they had three children of their own. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> two girls and a boy. Yeah. The nearest to me, the boy was seven year older than me, the nearest in age. Yeah. Uh, mother, uh, I just want to class as my mother, raised a lovely woman, you couldn't have met a nicer woman. Uh, devoutly religious. Yeah, yeah. Um, went to church three times a week. Never heard, never heard uh, have a bad word for anybody. Yeah, I mean, you no, know. Yeah. Uh, the father complete opposite. Um, it was alcoholic. It, it oh. was a bully. Uh, always put me down all the time. No matter what, I was lazy. I'd never come and nothing. I'd never do nothing. Slightest thing, bam, all that. He. he um, he was a horrible man, psychologically, emotionally, and physically, uh, just ground me down to nothing, you know. It's not, so, so, <clears throat> so, Billy, so from the, the six week up until, because obviously you would have been um, young, well, you, you're young, you would have been young anyway, but so your earliest memories of that kind of mental abuse and belittling and making you feel bad about yourself, you recognise that from an age of five, uh, six, but, seven? But really, I, about eight or nine, eight or nine. I can start yeah, remembering it. You can remember, and that's yeah. when it started to get really bad, um, uh, really bad. Like so, putting you down, belittling you, always, kind of, always, yeah. no matter what I did. But then, what, how? Why? Why did he? He sounds like he was running the house. That he's, he's not, oh yeah, he's yeah, yeah. He ruled how the did he treat yeah. his other children and his missus? 
Um, what did he? Why loving, did he want loving to, to Loving to his wife. Yeah. I was treated differently by him. Right. She never treated me any differently. No. <coughs> no, but he did. <clears throat> yeah. And so you're going to school during that time in yeah. Uh, Leeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, so yeah. how was that? Um, that that bit up until nine, ten that you remember? Really Hated that school time. from day one to leave, leaving. Hated it. Um, one memory I remember from him when I had my first crush. You know, about ten, eleven year old. Yeah. And uh, you write silly little things, don't you? I love Louise. This time, you know, silly little things yeah. that kids do. Yeah, we all did that. And you know, you, you know, your first real crush is a massive, intense thing. Yeah. He'd seen what I'd written about her. Now he works with her father. Yeah. The next day, he seeked out these pieces of paper where I'd written about her, took it to work, and gave it to her father. The evening he came back home, he went to the pub every night after work. He came back home and thought it was funny. Part of me died that night. It, 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 part of me, me and us all died that night. He crushed me that night. So Louise's <clears> father <throat> worked in the same places. Yes, yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what would he? So what was he smoking? What he's, he's obviously an evil man, but I don't know what. He, he, laughing he, like a kid do would do. Yeah, he, he, he thought it was funny. Yeah, belittling, you know. Yeah. Because you know, no kid wants to, the parents to know no. intimate details yeah. like that. Like, it's a very personal thing, isn't it? You know. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's that time of your life where you start to uh, break away that little bit, have that little bit more freedom and start to build your own sort so, of yeah. character, you know, and he, yeah. and he was just destroying it. So what was the, what was the name, sorry again? The, Louise. No, Louise. her mum, he's, he's part of your foster mum. Oh, my mum, Agnes. Agnes, yeah. <coughs> That's the <coughs> photo. That's right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so do you mind if I show sure, you? Sure, of course, yeah. She looks lovely, doesn't she, Agnes? I saw it straight away as I came in. That's lovely, Agnes. So she was basically, she was an angel, Billy. She was an absolutely lovely... Oh, sorry, I'll sorry, Bill. She's absolutely... That's all right, mate. Yeah. She was an absolutely lovely lady. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't meet a nicer yeah. woman. So what did she see in him then? But my uh, a, you know that's something. That's a familiar tale as well, isn't I it? I have actually gone through mm. my life asking that. Yeah. You know, because you, you couldn't have got two people that were more different, different. if you tried mm. uh you know it, it continued to continue i mean when i i was a pretty good all-around sportsman you yeah. know yeah um <clears throat> never did anything at school because because he always put me down so i never really tried yeah uh but sport i always excelled yeah. With whatever sport i put me hand to yeah you know i i i, I was uh uh, you boxing, know, football, boxing, okay. football, rugby, yeah. cricket, you name it, I could put my hand to it. I, yeah. I was decent. Yeah, you were sweet. Uh, yeah, and I was ne I was the, always the only kid who never had anybody there. You know what that feels like. You know, uh, and it hurts, doesn't it, you know? Yeah. So she, um, Agnes, your foster mum, and the other children, the treatment, with what is the silent treatment, the way that. He made you feel, wouldn't didn't Oh, it was him. never you... silent treatment with him. He was very, very verbal. And she, how would they have seen the, the rest of the family, or did they just, he was the ruler? He, he, ruled, the yeah. he ruled the roost. He ruled the roost. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it's a terrible start, that though, Billy, six weeks in. Yeah. It's almost like being abandoned, really. Well, well I was abandoned. About being, about being I was abandoned, but, you know. That's what that's I mean, you, you, you yeah. also have that psychological thing in your head, although you don't understand it at that yeah, age, because. Exactly. Obviously, I had a different name to them because I was never actually legally yeah. adopted. Yeah. But you don't want anybody to know you don't want to be different. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I had social workers, whatnot, all that, um, <clears throat> as you do. But, um, yeah, <laughs> and then always, you know, put him down all the time. And, he, you know, um, then um, eventually, just short of my 15th birthday, it came to a head one night. And I just lashed back and I broke his jaw. What What was the circumstances? How was that build up there? What was going on? It, it was situation? a build up of anger of, of all the years. No, with the telling moment, the oh, straw that broke the camel's back. It was in It was in his bedroom. Yeah. Uh, in, in my mum's bedroom, just before going to bed. Oh. And I had the next bedroom and there was some argument and show. And yeah, it was going on again. And he went to throw a punch at me. I slipped it, bang! And... Uh, that's when the tables turned. Good. Karma. Karma. So that was in front of Agnes as well? Yeah. 
Yeah. So when he got he got he got the big punch that's been coming for about fifteen years. It went years. down like a sack of shit. Went down like a sack of shit. But yeah. he didn't call police or nothing like that. No, what has yeah. happened there is um I've been uh, kicked out of, of high school <clears throat> and there was a kid in my year called Paul Mulligan. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you now, Yami, from the day I was kicked out of school to right now where I'm sat with you, I've never ever seen him since. Right. Now, a few months after I'd been kicked out, he got nicked in Leeds City Centre shoplifting and he said to the police I made him do it. Oh. But what, why ever he threw me in or what, I don't know, because I hadn't seen him from the day I left school uh, to this present day now. So whatever made him think of me, I don't know. But then obviously the police wanted to see me, so <clears throat> I had to go down to Milgar Police Station that used to be in town by the bus station here in Leeds. Yeah. Uh, one evening, and uh, by this I'd just turned 15, uh, and obviously I needed an appropriate adult. <clears throat> so he came. Yeah. Worst thing that happened, well, on the interview, he said, yeah, but Billy, why would he say that you forced him if you had to, you know, basically try to throw me under the bus with the police, really? So obviously I've argued back with him. Whatever the, the, the detective we were doing the interview saw, I don't know, but he altered the interview, put me back in my cell. Yeah. A uh, little over an hour later, the door opened and he just went, I want another word with you. The policeman. Yeah, it brought me out and there was a female social worker there I'd never met before. And I was took in into the interview and uh, it made a statement that I'd... Uh, but, but how can that be the whole afternoon? <laughs> if there's no con context, I'm no proof from presenting evidence and that kind of stuff. Yeah. How would you... So basically, the long story, so you got... Did you get charged with this? You didn't? Yeah, I did, yeah. You got charged with it? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. You've got to remember... And what did he say at that time? Your foster father was sitting there? He said that... Uh, oh, he wasn't there. But, but by, when the coppers come back yeah. and said, I want another word with you, right. during that time when he'd halted yeah, the interview sorry. about yeah, it, yeah. then he'd, uh, he'd, he'd, he'd made his statement. And when I came back out, there was a female social worker waiting. He'd gone. Um, your foster father? Yeah. What did he say to the police? Uh, basically, that uh, I was taken over the house. I'd, I'd, I'd beat him up. Uh, I broke his jaw, uh, this, that and the other, you know. How many years was that up before that? When was that? How it, was a, it was a matter of about five weeks after it had happened. Why didn't you say nothing then? What was it? What? I don't so know. anyway, all right, so you right from, from then he made his statement and then you yeah. got charged. Yeah, well, with <clears throat> um, section 20, unlawful malicious wounding. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously at that time I, I, I was so angry and bitter and so I, I couldn't articulate, you know, why and what, you know. I was just so angry and raving, you know. Mm. So <clears throat> I went to the juvenile court and I was remanded to the care of the local authority. Yeah. Uh, the biggest kids home in Leeds at the time called Eastmore. Heard about it. Massive kids yeah. home. Um, I'd already uh, just done pro a proof school. Yeah. Just before that, I'd been yeah. in a proof school. But then I go there and uh, loads of different houses, massive kids home, over 200 kids in it. Wow. Um, I was really unruly there, carrying on with staff, smashing things up, running away all the time. Uh, they put an unruly order out on me. So on the uh, 10th of December 1987, I went to court and I was remanded in custody at Old Prison. Because what had happened, in, uh, up until 1986, you had two prisons at four, uh, Weatherby there in four yeah. parts. You had Thor Parch and Wheel and uh, Rudgate. Yeah. A cat. A, a, a remand. Thor Parch was the remand centre. Rudgate, a, a, an adult open prison. Now in eighteen eighty six, they made Thor Parch a cat C. Yeah. So what that meant was that if you were uh, the juvenile YPs, we went on remand to Hull. Why I don't know. If you were seventeen or twenty one, you went to Armley. <clears throat> Hull, I always thought there was two Hull prisons. Hold on, let me get this right. So Hull was a control unit, though. Yeah, that was Airwing. So that was in the same place as... Yeah, yeah. The control unit was in, like, a Belmont it's, surrounding it's, and white. Yeah, There's yeah. There's a CSU, you know, as a... Yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah. Or Hull, um, control well, it comes unit. off the, the central rotunda uh, that you have in the, the old Victorian prison. 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 So it's very much like Bill Wood. Yeah, it's a, Victor no, it's a Victorian prison. But oh, it's yeah. a Victorian prison. But you had yeah. Airwing, then B, C, D. So uh, you was on the YP bit? Yeah, B wing. Yeah. Under 17? Yeah, 15 I was, yeah. So that means the rest of the wings, apart from the control unit, that was all adults? Yeah. Yeah, C and D wing, yeah. Right, so you was, um, that your age was that, so you 15, was on remand yeah. for? Two months. And got? 
<coughs> he went back to court and there was a member of staff there yeah. from Eastmore, which was unusual. Uh, he said, oh, we come to see what happens. And the magistrate gave me a care order. Then I remember the uh, prosecution jumping up saying, we were hoping for another week remand to work things out. He said, well, what could I do? I've sensed him now. And after that, there was mad dashing about phone calls. What I found out later was the start, all the staff at Eastmore threatened industrial action if oh I was sent back there. Days. They threatened to walk out on strike if I went back. So I was only a 15-year-old kid, so I've made quite an impression. So I was put in the secure unit then, and I was in there for a year until I were released. I know what that feels like. So when you was in that children's zone for that, what was you hitting members of staff? And people? Yeah, like, carrying on, rolling. smashing things up, yeah. Uh, I remember a few times the staff, they got, uh, they got uh, uh, another lad to uh, try and do me in, but he'd come unstuck. You know, they hated me. Yeah. They really hated me. And so Billy, <clears> hold <throat> on, so the fo foster mum and dad, after yeah. that being charged, and yeah. you, you obviously have left home now, you're, you're on your institutional yeah. prison so um, side of things now from that yeah. young age. What about the contact there with Agnes? She's come to see me every She's week. She's still coming to see her? Every week. Wow. Every week. So nothing, no, you came out, you went to that secure unit for one year, yeah. And then you came back out. So I, I went back home to Agnes, yeah. You went back home to Agnes? I did, yeah. So he was still there? He, he, by, by this time, he was, uh, he was terminally ill. Uh, you know, by this time, it's like 15, 16 months later. And he was terminally ill then. And oh. he died about three or four months later. So Agnes is proper more, Agnes is really your, like your real mother, really. Well, she is as far as I'm concerned. She sounds like She, she sounds, raised me from six week old, mate. Them angels are in. And, they uh, are. The she, God, she was my yard. Uh, she was a lovely woman, you know. And, um, so yeah. yeah. Sorry, go on. Come you on. know, a, a lot of my life now, is, as I look back, as I'm older, is you know, because she was from a straight family, you know, and that that is the regret of what all I put her through, you know, dragging her all over the country to see me, and yeah. you know, and courts and police taking off her door looking for me, and uh, all yeah. and I'm response at her house, and you know. <clears throat> and I regret that now because she didn't deserve it. She really didn't deserve it, Yami, you know. Mm. Uh, she was a lovely woman. Yeah, definitely, 100% sounds like it. Billy, so when but she it, always stood by me. She always stood by you. Mm. Probably saw the wrongs in her, her husband or whatever and just let it pass. That's his stuff. Whatever it was, she, she, she saw She has a do good heart. She yeah. probably thought she could change him. There must have been something there. She, God knows. With, with love, who can ever tell? Yeah, had, yeah, well, yeah, that's him. true, yeah. Um, so, Billy, after that, <clears> so you, you come, back, you come yeah. out from that, and then the criminal criminal activity... Yeah, I mean, of, I thought, I, when I was I was always truanting from school and shoplifting and uh, a yeah. little other thing, you know. Uh, <clears throat> but then I come out from that, and uh, I met Frank. Rest in peace, Frank Burley. Yeah, God bless his soul. So that was yeah. when I bet first met the both at different times. Yeah. He, he was doing 14 years. Yeah. For? Um, robbery. So when you first met, but Frank would have been older than you, if I remember Yeah, he was seven years older, yeah. Seven years older. Yeah. So after coming out, that remind Hull, da -da -da, two months, back home, um, Agnes, still that, Then the year in the secure the unit. The year in the secure unit. And then well, Frank, you meet up with Frank for the yeah, first time. Yeah, yeah. He just took a light to me, yeah. <clears throat> it was really through um, a pal of mine I'd gone to school with. Yeah. And he'd got an older brother who was eight years older than him, who was a pal of Frank. Do you remember uh, who it was? Yeah, Kev Nico, yeah. Kev Nico. Uh, and, and that's how we met. Uh, you know, that's how me and Frank met, through yeah. Kev. Yeah. And he took a shine to you, why? Because you had a lot of bottles. Yeah, and, and Ke Kevin's gone now as well, sadly. Rest in peace. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Burst also killed him, sadly, when he was 36 year old. Yeah. So then you and Frank became at that time so you was what 16 at this time yeah 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 yeah. so frank would have been 23 Three, something like that, yeah wow adult yeah. but i was a big guy for me age. yeah i saw you when you uh, I, 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 I didn't look 16 year old no i didn't act like i was 16 year old no you know um totally different you know but it, it took a sign to me i was game as a badger yeah you know i was up for it do you know what i mean yeah. um he was, a, was he, he, would you, you looked up to him, so then he was the, like the, the, leader, the man yeah. that, would, from your life, yeah. the way you was in it, Frank yeah, was yeah. kind of, you drawn to it sadly, Yeah. Um, but obviously he saw something in you and you started 
doing like crime yeah. with rest in peace Frank Burnley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Among so, others as well, yeah. Among yeah. others as well. So yeah. then build the build up then from sixteen. What age did you get nicked, arrested for? The big sentence. With a sentence then when I, I saw was 19. Both, he was nineteen. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, because Frank come to Parkhurst briefly in the old Parkhurst days. Yeah. So briefly. Yeah. Um, but never really saw him again. But right, I know a lot okay. of my lot were really attached with Frank. Right, yeah. Oh no, I might have seen him in Armley <clears throat> briefly, right, okay. early nineties, yeah. but not really know him in that yeah, kind of yeah, way. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So when you got, where was you then? Where would you have gone when you got your fourteen years? Uh, Walton, Marlers, Marlers, Walton, sentenced full Sutton when I was nineteen. Cat A, full Sutton, yeah, yeah. 19 years old. Yeah, high risk, yeah. High Come, risk. So you, so the Moreland shift was YP's? Yeah. What's yeah. Yorkshire now? Yeah, Doncaster, yeah. Ain't that near full Sutton? Obviously it's near. I thought, what's the one next door? There was one next door, but I, don't, I might have had that. Where, so, no, Moreland's you've got, you've got Moreland's and there's a cat C called Lindholm next door. Yeah, right? Lindholm, right. So then you've gone from there, Yeah. full Sutton, yeah. <clears> first <throat> real time, Yeah. in a category A. Yeah. Full category A prison. In an adult prison. In an with, adult with, prison. With, with men, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Frank wasn't there when you got there? No, uh, Frank first off was sent to Franklin. He was sent to Franklin. Yeah. So then when you went there, didn't see your young kid Bill? Did you feel kids are daunting us? Obviously. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I mean, one minute you're surrounded by kids from 15 to 21. Uh, and then the next thing, you know, you've got mass murderers, IRA, yeah. terrorists. Can you remember any of the Irish lot? Like, yeah, I can. The Balkan Street lot. Oh, yeah, I see, really, see, really see, liked yeah. Eddie Butler yeah, I mean, say, from them. He was a lovely fella. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, he, he used to give me tobacco for nothing because he used to sell it. Yeah. You know, and uh, he used to just give me half ounces of baccy. He just took a light to me, you know. Anyone uh, else? Irish yeah, there? Yeah. No. Uh, there was uh, Huey Dockett with him and Joe O'Connell. Yeah, I've heard of him. I can't, um, I can't remember. I you know, both, both, no, all, all of them nice men. You know who else? Who else, Frank? During that time, full Sutton. Um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Early. Uh, this was 1992. 92. Golden Benny. Yeah, you had um, Brian Lydon there from North. You had um, Roy Heath from South. Uh, Tony McCann Squeak. Lovely fella. Tony McCann. Right. Oh, and Roy Heath. Uh, oh, Squeak and McCann. Oh, you got to see Squeak and McCann was in full Sutton. Yeah, Squeak and when I first went there. Uh, Squeak and Roy did a lot for me. Oh, that was before he got his but, life sentence. But, but, yeah, he was doing and his I saw 15 him after then. The yeah. he, I was, as a yeah. young kid, he took a shine to you as well. Yeah, he looked out Roy for Heath, me. Roy Heath, Roy, Roy, yeah, Roy Heath and Squeak looked out for me a lot. Mm. Uh, I've got a lot to thank them for. I can't, I'm in touch with um, Squeaky. Something Michael. Yeah, Michael, sa- really tragically, you told me he died. Uh, in God, you know, God bless his soul. And uh, big shout out to his son. You, yeah, you, your father was a lovely yeah. fella. And he did a lot for me when I was a young boy like me, in full sort of, strange, but he took you know, he, uh, he did a lot for me, mm. mate. He, you know, he looked out for me a lot. And, you know, I'd have a word with the screws and get them off my back, you know. And things. He, he, he was a, a really genuinely lo- lovely guy. He had a reputation. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he was no one one squeak. He, uh, he went, he got sent to full something because he'd, um, you know, the big plastic jugs you got. Yeah. Boiling water with sugar in it, lost it over a screw, didn't oh. it, in another night, yeah. I yeah, heard, I heard that. Yeah, the screws were fucking. No, I heard it way back in the day. The screws were fucking terrified of squeak, mate. Trust well, me. Well, they must have. Been, they would have made his life. Yeah. But he was That's, a really, yeah, really nice yeah, man. It was funny. Yeah, yeah. It was very, very quick witted. Was yeah. squeak. You know, I liked him a lot. Desi Cunningham, another one. God bless, he's no longer here. I, I, I was devastated to hear. You know, uh, a matter of months away from being released from that. I think it was seventeen. He was doing and tragically took his life mad dad you know and I met his brother Andy once his brother Andy had come up from uh, some cat I think he was doing a three and he'd come up for a um, month accumulate um, visits uh, just to spend Pris- a month with, yeah, yeah, yeah to spend a month and yeah, he came on the wing that. for a month yeah, with, never, with, with, uh, his with Desi yeah. uh, he was a nice guy was Andy you know, and uh, you know, uh, shout out to him I'm sorry to hear about Des Andy so if, you, if you're watching mate uh, yeah. Much love, mate. My heart goes out. Squeaky was was still <clears throat> squeaky. Squeaky was still cracking jokes. Yeah, I was sad. They, they, I've, they've I've, done him up there the last bit and got because he got a life sentence. Yeah, I, I don't know I, if yeah, you knew you said, after you, that bit. I didn't, but you no, told me yeah, I, yeah. because it, it was somebody I, I'd have always loved to have seen again. Yeah, uh, but on the outside, right. you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'd love to have seen him again and, and, and had a pint with him. You know, he was a really, really nice guy. 
So who else ran about that time mm. um, in full sight? That wasn't when the riots, that protest. No, no that, that was, was around like 95. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, like I remember uh, you know, little Stan Pewter was there. <clears throat> Ronnie Pewter's brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with Ronnie Pewter. Oh, I don't yeah. think I met oh, Stan. Oh, Stan. Yeah. yeah, I used to watch him play football for his wing. Oh, God, he was like a pit bull. He went berserk if anybody lost the ball. Or anything. Okay. It was funny to watch. Okay, he was. He was, uh, yeah. he was another funny guy. I was down yeah. the block with him a few times. Yeah. He was a good guy. He was Stan. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Victor there then? Full sign? He was. Was he there? He was, you yeah. Ask yeah. Him about Victor. Yeah, yeah you Victor was some funny. Well, my yeah. wife is is from the Philippines. Right. Um, she was a nurse here at LGI. Yeah. Leeds General Infirmary. Uh, got a lot of Filipino nurses, as you probably know. Yeah, don't yeah. Know. Come yeah. on. Yeah. And I met her here, you know, and uh, now we're married. It's her that changed my life around, really. Um, what you told, sorry about, we're going to get to that your, That change of your life that changed Okay, yeah, your, sure, sorry, Bill. sure. So that story about um, Victor and your missus, or your wife, even though I mean, we spoke about it, I, because I, I, I had... Oh, what my story. wife told me. We, what, and then right. I heard this in prison, but well, I never really believed well, it all. Well, my wife, obviously, science. my wife didn't know Victor. No, she didn't know Victor. But knew of him. Yeah. Uh, basically, you had to dictate, they, they had the Edsa revolution in 86. Yeah. And you in had, the Philippines. Yeah, in the yeah. Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, dictator, a guy called Marcos, yeah. uh, him and his family got ousted, they got airlifted by yeah. the Americans yeah. I remember out of Ma Malacanang yeah. Palace, yeah. Yeah. the presidential palace in Manila. Yeah. Uh, they had to do it. They, they were going to get fucking undrawn and quartered by the people, mate, you know. Uh, you might remember about his wife, Imelda the Beauty Queen, and all the thousands of pairs of shoes. Well known for it, mate. Um, mm. But... Uh, Victor was Marcos's hitman, and when the regime De definitely true, you hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, yeah. And when the regime fell, that's why Victor left. He had to scarf a lively, and that's why he came to the UK. Yeah, so that story is true then. Yes, it is. And yeah. that's when he, them crimes that he did when he came back. Yeah, because a lot of people were saying in the cat is yeah that story was true, but then a lot of people said how could it be? It could never be true that he could have been. Yeah, like, it, it was, he had to run for his life from the Philippines. He had to run from his life. So you took to Victor as well. You thought you I did. I liked him. You don't mind if I smoke, do you? You do. You want? Do what you want, Billy. But on. yeah, it's okay. Go on. <clears throat> but yeah, he yeah. um he, he basically had to run for his life. He came yeah. over here. But yeah, he was, a, he was a funny guy. He was a funny guy, yeah. Yeah. Anyone else stand out then in full Saturn, Bill? Um, they're quite what about um, Delroy Showers, Michael Showers? They're Michael, they're, they're, I was on the same spur as Michael. He was in the Cat A's. Oh no, he went to Swellside. When I was on the run from, uh, when I was on the run in Swellside, 95-ish as well during that time, I was going back and forth everywhere. He turned up right. in Swellside. Right. So... I heard that he and they were the showers is one of them or two of them was in the categories of full Saturn. Michael, the time. yeah, uh, I was with Michael. Me and Frank yeah. were together for for a short while, uh, so I got kicked out. I got uh, where uh, at B wing at full Saturn. I thought Frank did Frank wasn't in full Saturn at that time. No, he did. He, he came. He came. Uh, I'd, I I'd been shipped out on a lay down. Yeah. Came back, yeah. Because I, I been oh, before so that. Went before that, so you went back. I'd been, I'd been yeah. on E wing at yeah. Walsall with, yeah. with Squeak McCann. McCann yeah. Uh, set down the block, sent on a lay down, came back, and I got put on B wing. And Frank had arrived from Parkhurst. Right. So that was <clears> the, the second. I swear, I swear, um, Billy. Joke aside, I heard Frank served up someone. There was a big drama in Frank. Got, and Frank, Frank got, and I can't Frank remember. Frank got it stabbed up. With, Frank got stabbed up. The other way around. Uh, what what has happened was I I I'd, um, I I'd, I'd been kicked out a matter of weeks before. Yeah. All right. I've been set on a few lay downs, and then uh, I I was sent down to Whitemore. Now, Frank, it, it, it was dealing it was dealing Doing the gear, stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was a guy there called Frank the Bear. Now, his nephew. Um, was buying team set at a time off yeah, Frank. Yeah, yeah. So Frank the Bear was... Where was Frank the Bear from? Sorry, Bill. Uh, remember, was he a Londoner? <clears throat> nah. Nah. From uh, around here. Right. But originally, I think, from Scotland way, originally, yeah. I think. Can't quite remember him. But Frank the Bear's got to see Frank and said, look, Frank, will you stop 
dealing to my nephew because yeah. it's going to end out with nothing. So Frank rightly said, well, fuck that. He said, if, you, if you don't buy it off me, it's going to buy it off somebody else. Power struggles. So, I, I, I'm, you yeah. know, then apparently that the bear was walking past Frank's elbows just as Frank had given him uh, half a team for gear. Yeah. He grabbed the team for gear out of uh, his nephew's hand and flushed it down the soil. Oh, no. So there was a big fucking thing between. Yeah. And it was going to go off. Yeah. Next thing, there were 25 bags found under that bear's locker, right? And then he said that Frank had put it there. Oh, no. But I remember hearing this. Listen, that's a lot of bollocks. I thought it was the other way around. No, that's oh, a lot of bollocks. Yeah, he never did that. Never First, did that. second, though, right? You get caught with 25 fucking rats Bags. in your cell. Yeah, yeah. You're getting charged, mate. Yeah. That's dealing. He never, he never even went down a fucking block for it. So, really, they might have been pulling a move to make it they look were pulling like, a move. like they, they did. Older. They, they pulled were... a move to make it look like Frank had done that. 100%. Uh, yeah. Now, that changed Frank did that. It was never the same after that. It, it, what, did he get stabbed up quite bad, Bill? Oh, yeah, he got took to outside hospital a lot, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. What about, Frank had a lot of backup in there, though. So I wonder what happened there. I didn't, can't remember the few bits and bobs that well, I used to hear. It was slightly rushed, wasn't it? It was yeah. slight, slightly rushed. Yeah. More I than, mean, you know yeah. yourself in a jail like yeah, that. that you know, you know you're not, you're not going to fucking telegram somebody that you're going to nah. do them, you know. You can't. So he was hospitalised for that and came back? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then but, he got moved? Yeah, uh, then he went down to Parkhurst again. But he, uh, he's, he's, he stayed on the wings, mate. Yeah, old Frank always stayed on the wings. <clears throat> yeah, he, he, oh. he didn't do any wrong. So when Frank, so hold on then. So Frank, that was just, when the first time around in Parkers, when I passed, when I was passing through everywhere, in the old days, he went to Full Sutton from there, then back from Full Sutton back to Parkers. Mm. Yeah. During that run. Yeah. Right. So when he was in Hull, let me get, let me get, let's go straight into this bit in case I forget, and this is an important bit, especially with the viewers as well. Uh, this, these particular subjects that come up on YouTube all the time, and I know your man who's in the right place to be able to answer if you want to, of course. Of course, anything, uh, anything you want to ask. When about. you was in Hull prison, yeah. right? I was up to be until recent times that it was there was two Hull prisons. The control, I don't yeah. know that the control yeah. unit was actually yeah. Hull prison. Yeah, Paul Sykes was in there when you was in there no as a youngster when you was on the white yeah, yes it uh, whole control unit opened in 1987 and paul right. sykes was one of the first inmates in there what had happened paul was there doing a two and a half and you, you, when you spoke on your podcast before yeah, yeah you got the story right but not the not no, the right around. place what right. had happened? Oh, yeah, because I said strange ways. It was Unless dark. there's two, there's more than one. Cap no, but it's It was like actually that, right? in Hull. Uh, right. I've, I've actually spoke to the very same yeah. gym screw yeah. that it happened to. Yeah. This gym screw kept calling Paul boy, boying him yeah, off. Same story. And um, Paul says, I want a fucking mind him, but I was older than him. So anyway, Paul's got sick of it one day. Bang! Hit him. Uh, he's broke his cheekbone, his jaw. Yeah. When the screws, obviously the belt, right belt was it. When the screws had come running, when they got there, they thought Paul had hit him with a dumbbell. He'd done that much fucking damage. And he got three and a half on top for that. And then he was put in the control unit. So, uh, so that, during that time, so on that first bit, sorry, Billy, to go yeah. back over things. So when you're a YP, yeah. you're on that wing, Paul's not actually on the control unit at that time until he's done that to the, the screw and got right, extra when, time when I top. When I was in uh, Hall in 87, Paul was on the control unit then. He was on the control yeah, unit? Yeah, that had happened in 86 when he, oh, when he yeah. hit the screw. Right, and he hadn't been released, so he, had, he got extra time. Yeah, he got he got, yeah, he got three and a half on top for it, uh, meaning he was doing a six or a six and a half, something like that. He got released from Hall control unit in 1989. 19, this is important, Billy. Was Bronson there at that time in 1987? No. Charlie Bronson didn't go to whole control unit until 1993. 1993. They and Paul Sykes wouldn't have been there. They, no. So Paul got released in 1989. Yeah, they never crossed paths in whole control unit. 100% fact never happened. So your meetings with Paul Sykes, rest in peace, from a youngster in mm. Yorkshire, of course, Frank and yeah. Frank, I was told, was pretty close to Paul or not no, for no, in that kind no, of No, no, no. Uh, it, it, really, I, I got on with Paul better. You got uh, on well with Paul. Yeah, better. but Frank wasn't a drinker, you know. No. No, uh, but I liked a pint. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I met Paul around the pubs and that around Leeds City Centre because 
it was scraps from every pub in Wakefield. Right. So, you know, I mean, yeah. uh, you know, uh, putting dormant asleep left, right, and yeah. centre. Um, so it used to come into Leeds a lot, uh, shopping or whatnot around the market, and he'd go around the pubs in Leeds. Yeah. yeah, and that's how I first met him. And you met him in one of those bars. Yeah, and that I was, was what, before the YP case in Hull. Yeah, yeah. Uh, before, no, no, it was after. Uh, exactly. After it'd been released. After it'd been released. So this would have been then around 1990 oh, when gosh. I was around 18. And he was in that, he had a funny sense of humour, didn't he? Yeah, it was very dry. Yeah. Very dry. Yeah. yeah. Not everyone's cup of yeah. tea. No. Um, but the rumours, Paul, I'm, I'm Billy, right? Yeah. Well, you know, various opinions, but, you know, viewers have heard these bits before from me and, you know, listened to different versions. Other yeah, but it's bumming white and all that. So you would have been around there that time. Well, oh, this So shit. definitely wouldn't have been around Look, that, that time there. No, he's never come up with a victim. No. Well, he's never been, he's never been accused of it. Yeah. He's, by the, he's Police, never been no, charged with no, it. No, no. Nobody's ever come up with a victim. Yeah. You know, I mean, person, personally, a lot of people didn't like him because people said, you know, it, it, it was a bully, right? Yeah. I don't know whether he wore or he won. It was always all right with me. Yeah. That's all I can say. It was always okay with me when I met him. Yeah. But obviously, I, 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 um, I was a young lad. I was always polite. I always knew, you know. Uh, so did Frank know personally outside as well then, Billy? Yeah, Frank knew him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then after, all, after that with, with Paul, what was the other bit I was going to say? So, all right, the story in case I forget again um, for the viewers as well. Um, Terry Mitchell, a known hard man from Leeds, around right about Paul Sykes' age. Yeah. Um, Rumours, different people saying different um, versions of what happened mm. that they was meant to have had a strike. I know the Terry whole Mitchell, story. Right, explain it. Right. First of all, you get people on podcasts saying that there used to be a pub in Leeds called, by the market called the Madhouse. It was nicknamed the Madhouse. Yeah. The Market Tavern. The fight never happened there at all. No. It happened in a pub called The Vine. On the hedgerow, yeah. Uh, next door, but one, so a pub that's still there now, the Three Legs, the Vine now is no longer there. It's uh, a bookies yeah. now. Now it was there. Now, further of that, it wasn't just Paul Sykes and oh. Terry Mitchell. Terry Mitchell was with a guy called Tess, who can also have a do. He's a Geordie, but lived in Leeds nice. for years. Paul Sykes has bowled into the pub. He's, he, he, he's pissed. Okay, right. now. A good friend of mine called Alan Dwyer, who we nicknamed Boz, yeah. right? Who could also have a right or row. Yeah. He was there with his bird. He actually saw it. Okay? Right. I read it from the horse's mouth. Wow. Now, wow. Boz, Boz yeah. he told it straight as yeah. it was. Yeah. You can put your life on what he says. He was there. Yeah. Okay? What's happened? So, Sykes is gone in. He's gone in. He's pissed. He hated his father. His father yeah. was in there before him. Who's father, Bill? Sorry. Paul Sykes is. He was a prison officer, wasn't he? That's right, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So I never knew him, but yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah, go on. What you, uh, so, Paul has gone in, okay? Uh, some altercation with his dad is give his dad a backhander. Wow. Right? So, Mitchell steamed into him, right? <clears throat> Set two between him and Mitchell. Sykes a bit. Then Tess has gone in. Somehow, the, they've ended out on the ground of Tess and... and, and and Mitchell, yeah. and basically they wrestle on the ground. Yeah. Then Mitchell said, let him up. He's come back up, there's been fighting again. And the, the, there was a side door that led into an alleyway where a club that's still there now yeah. called Big Lil's, they managed to get him out of the door yeah. and they've shut and they've bolted the door. Wow. By this time, Sykes is coming around a bit, oh, no. okay? And, and Sykes is banging on the door saying, get out of here. Nobody went out. So there wasn't two fights between them, no. ever? Nobody went out. Definitely, Billy? Definitely, no. 100%. Right, so not a one on one straight enough. No, rush. no. Uh, and it all happened because Sykes, he were pissed. Uh, yeah. And I did his father. Yeah. You know, as I say. He, so Terry was taking the moral high ground then? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, yeah probably... it, his dad was an old man, he was taking a fucking liberty, really. Um, you know, and as I said, they, they up, and then when he's come up from being on the ground with Tess, him and Mitchell are fighting. Yeah. Uh, and then between they've got him out of the side door and shut the door on him, you know. Um, in a straight, in a one-on-one, -on -one, would you reckon? With none of them being pissed. In the prime? In their primes. Sykesy. Yeah. Yeah. 
because he's a lot of people say Terry Mitchell was one of the, the most high. Oh, very you know, fucking tough then, man. They were the but, same age, so we can't compare it. Where, where Sykes, yeah, I think, would edge it, well, you've got to remember, Sykes were a professional boxer, mate. Yeah. He fought for the British and Commonwealth heavyweight title. Yeah. So he, he, he had the discipline, boxing skills, and, you know, combat, you know. Um, Build a bomb versus Paul Sykes. <laughs> Just again, you know, like you say, Mitchell and, and Sykes, yeah, I say, I say Sykes, but then. Could Mitchell, he, you know when you're on a bad man like it comes down to who it's who first, first and I mean if Mitchell got the first proper banging then uh, you know then advantage Mitchell was Mitchell thick was he thick yeah 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 sort of, yeah, yeah. Sykes or shorter or what uh, shorter than Sykes but yeah. well if Sykes got the first one in advantage Sykes and same with Billy the Bomb yeah. and, and Sykes whoever got that first boom yeah it's, it's hard, advantage them it's hard to call in, it's yeah. in the ring it would be different anyway. very hard to call with people like that very out of call. But that's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah. All right, so we go on to... Oh, where was we again? Sorry about that, but I have to clear things up in case I forget, because I don't edit um, my videos and that. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Bit. Billy, when you got the 14, yeah. right, with um, Frank, Yeah. how come you ended up... Because you've done... How long out of that sentence? Because you was out... Paul, um, Frank was out before you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I got two years, 10 months on top while I was away. While you was away? Yeah, uh, I had three uh, consecutive sentences while I was away for it in Four. screws. Oh, yeah. Right. Like, so you yeah, ended up yeah. with really 16. 10. And done how much out of it? 16 years, 10 months, uh, just short of 14. Wow. Came out at 33. Came out at 33. Yeah. Golden penny. All the child, all the youth gone like that. Yeah, yeah. So Frank, was he alive when you came out? No. No, he wasn't? No. Oh dear. Tragically, he had gone then. To yeah. clear up that as well, I'm not going to ask you to say too much, obviously, uh, Billy, but while I was in prison, mm. um, I heard through the grapevine that he was in the middle of a graft, a robbery or something, and he was getting chased by someone or whatever, and he jumped over the wall, and the gun went off accidentally. And he shot himself. But since I've been out, I told that story to a couple of people. They said, don't be silly, Yami. They, partly, they said, partly true. Uh, it wasn't on a robbery. And there was somebody else with him. There was somebody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what happened? They both... Uh, the, something had happened. They're, yeah. they're running away. Um, they both clambered over this wall and fell. Uh, and as they, they both fell, the other guy had the gun. The gun actually accidentally went off and shot him in the neck and killed him. It's a mystery that one there. That, that's what actually happened. Bloody hell, Billy. Just a so, tragic but you believe it's just a tragic accident. Tragic accident, mate. I don't yeah. think with one other case, there was a geezer called Gappy, like way back in the day. I forgot I, I forgot the other person's name, but that's what that story reminds me of. But no one, we're never going to know, are we? Well, no. What about, so your robbery is the 14, I haven't even touched on that yet, Billy. The crimes itself, with you and Frank, they were armed robberies, what jewelers, were they, fans, old jewelers. jewelers. Yeah. Right, How, what was the ingredients there with those crimes? Because I heard there was a shootout. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah, with the police in Blackpool, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In Blackpool? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because uh, everything was on top here in Leeds, you know what I mean? Uh, so your charges were at that time? Armed um, robbery. And? Uh, hostage taking. And possession of a firearm. Yeah, discharging firearm, all that, yeah, all, that, all magnitude of crimes, So there was yeah. a siege? Yeah, 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 yeah. How long would you not hold up for? Uh, you, 18 you? hours. Fuck it, 18 hours. Is it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just yeah. you and Frank? Yeah, it won't be most eventful day. <laughs> so what was you saying during the time, when you was both in there, you know there's no way out Yeah. of the jewel shop? Yeah. What was the... What was the, the thing? No, it was somebody, the... somebody else, somebody's house. We, we, we got oh, away so from the jewelry shop. You got away from the jewelry yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so you run in, you were getting chased and they got run into somewhere for yeah. shelter. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, they knew you was, they thought Yeah, we were surrounded, but they were going door to door. So uh, why didn't you come out, uh, Bill? Uh, well, <laughs> they told us to come out with our arms up with the gun in our hands, so you know what they were telling us there. Yeah. You know, so uh, what we did was we uh, waited until, you know, later on I had a little think about it so what we did then was we stripped down oh no uh, to our boxer shorts so you didn't get shot you were because we you were thinking that they might get they were, rid they of were, they were going to fucking shoot us mate no so where's about I it I heard this they were going to fucking shoot us no so where's about it we were going to get killed 
So yeah. you were, that was and you nicked where where was that again in Liverpool? No, Blackpool, that, right. that was in Blackpool. Yeah, yeah. So and then that was that was what the fourteen years. Yeah. Anything about the, your your crimes, Bill? To come to terms with it. Were your thinking uh, behind that life? No, I've done other things. There was other things about, I was nicked for. Us. Um, tie, I was also you know nicked for tying up a drug dealer and all that. Yeah, so. I took a liberty with a mate of mine. Yeah. Uh, and that cheeky can press charges. I was a fucking drug dealer, press charges for fuck's sake. But there you go. Um, I regret a lot now. What what I put Agnes through. Yeah. Uh, what I put innocent people through. Um, you know, if I could turn the clock back, I would. You know. I'd, yeah, I'm sorry for a lot of things now, and, and, and what I've done to people. Uh, deeply regret it. Deeply waste, regret it. Complete waste of time. Complete waste of life. You know, any kids watching now, you know, and they, they think that, you know, there's any glory, that there fucking isn't. When you're behind the door on your own, mate, you know, and there's, a, there's no glory in it. it, it yeah. you, you're, just, you're just wishing your life away. That's all you're doing. When um, your views and the feelings behind, because I've, I've, you reminded me today, actually, that I'd seen you during when I was going block to block and doing a couple of months here and there, yeah, local yeah, prisons yeah, during yeah, yeah. the hell nineties for me and you, yeah, Billy, yeah. Um, your feelings behind the control units and the feelings and isolation and that kind of stuff. So the viewers get even some know it, not about it already, but sometimes it mentally affects you. Mm. It does mentally affect mm. you because you know you got a better, the human being is a sociable. We're a sociable beast. Yeah. You know, we're not, that's why you have man, woman, you know, we're not meant to be alone. No. Do you know what I'm saying here? Yeah. Uh, that's why we come together and create family, you know, we're, we're meant to have a partner in life, we're, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, so it goes against, I mean, just the prison itself having, you know, 500 or 1,000 men yeah. under one roof anyway. But then, you know, to isolate people, you know, and treat them like a fucking animal, basically, worse. Um, it's good. It mentally affects you in the end. The any experiences? Um, so the control units. All right. Now, as it goes, let's get back to when we had the period together during Parkhurst days. When yeah. You remember, we got there after the escape again. I got there second yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same way. Uh, that was my third or fourth time there. We. It was funny, isn't it? Because you was. Um, on that wing there, you was there wasn't a lot of Yorkshiremen on man, round about that time. I was the only one. I think where was we B wing or G? B B wing, right? Yeah. Now that my brother-in-law used to work behind the hot plate. I worked with him. You worked with him. I did. So yeah. this only came to me the other day as well, Billy. So and he was, that the fight. Yeah, the fight. Now yeah, the expensive viewers got. I've, uh, I've, I've never told that story. Well, we, we were behind the surgery, to, and you know, it's very serious. My brother, don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't I mean, really. it was a lovely lad. Yeah. I got on great, quiet with him. and calm, tall yeah. and dark. I got yeah. on great with him. He used to have great yeah. talks, me and yeah. him. Yeah, but I mean, I was one of them behind the surgery, as you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. you'd come and maybe you'd on a curry and there were chicken yeah. legs. Where you'd say, "Give a chicken leg, Billy." I'd say, yeah. "Well, I'm not going to give you it, yeah, I mean, but I'm not going to stop you taking it." You know, no. I'm not fucking fighting over prison food. No, man. fuck that. No, I'm not doing it. No, no. What the fuck? Oh, it could I don't job, give a shit. Job causes a well, lot of problems. It, well, on, on it, on it, a dickhead. Who I can't? It's my yeah, job. Yeah. Uh, listen, mate. It's prison yeah. food. I don't give a fuck if you set the old tray of chicken yeah. legs. Personally, can yeah. go get some more, yeah. can't yeah. yeah. I'm not fighting with you yeah. over a mate. Yeah. It's not my fucking food. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. You know. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, screws just go and get some more daft gun. You know, it's that's my look on it. You know. Um, but yeah, um, we were behind said, there. Was, I was coming back through the other side. My memory serves you, yeah. you know I'm good at this kind of stuff. Yeah. Know. Someone, um, another geezer, I think he was from North London, he had lots Dreadlocks. of Dreadlocks, right? Yeah. Because they was, he said something to my brother-in-law, the other thing, and he said, he said to my brother-in-law, um, suck your mother or something. Yeah, <laughs> there's something like that. And his, his mother had, was either seriously ill or just died or, or something. Or just, sadly, rest in peace, and, uh, Yeah, 100%. What happened? He went, you what? Seven, yeah. he, I, I saw his face change. And then yeah. when it finished yeah, and we were putting yeah. stuff away, he said, can you handle all this for me, Billy? Yeah. I went, yeah, yeah, of course, mate, yeah. And with that, he went shooting at us. So I thought, oh, why? So I, I've gone out, I'll have a look, and then he flew up onto the twos. Yeah. And because um, I was opposite you on yeah, the two's landing, yeah, it was yeah. all more or less you know, we yeah. were at the top of the stairs, and yeah. the, more or less in between it's ourselves. Like crazy, everyone was, it was the yeah. bang up when it after survey really finished. If you remember, yeah. he had a long line, he had about five locks there, like yeah. you know, yeah. he'd ripped his fucking locks out. He'd, 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 
from the scalp. Must have killed right from the scalp. He gave me his fucking eye out here. Yeah. He gave me a right it first. It was mad because when I got down, I got to, I said, when I heard what he said to my brother-in-law, I said to myself, he ain't gonna have that. So when I put, quickly put my dinner back upstairs and kept it, he was already up the stairs and come. Yeah. And the other geezer was, I think his name was Gabby or something. He's all right as well, funny enough. Yeah. There was exchange and another little part. Just one of them tragic put, things. And... Mickey, well, not so much tragic. Well, tragic not that, one of them silly you things. Can't say that, those things kind no, of you things can't. People, Just one of them silly things that said at Spear of the Month that no doubt that, I'm sure his name was Gabby, he yeah. regretted it. Regret. Especially when he knew. Yeah, he didn't know that bit. You time. know. But still, you can't, me, I would, I would never say that. It's no, a, it's, a, it's not a thing you but say. But when the fight right? was going on, when I got down, the fight was already happening. So like I was looking when I came and looked, I was like, oh, look. there's a yeah. big crowd. There were some of Gabby's friends there, but yeah. they were also Ricky's man. No one wanted to join him, but everybody had the young with Gabby because he shouldn't have said it. No, but right, then yeah. I could see what my brother was. He's cutting off his lot. He's doing, he was really. I he ripped him season. out of his head. Who was also around at that time? Was Paul Fink was there? Paul well. was there. His brother Gary. Gary was there. I like them both. Both both uh, good lads, Paul and Gary. Funny Paul. But, good Paul. but he, good he ended up he ended up um one of them Samaritan listeners there, didn't he? Oh he was funny. You know, he, he started he's to turn things he's around. He's funny. He got yeah. back out as well, you know. Apparently he's away as well, but he was a oh, strong dear. he was a strong no one yeah. really used to mess about with Paul Flynn. No, he was a good lad though. He was Paul. a good lad. I, I used to have a good some yeah. good talks with so Paul. Was I. I liked uh, him crazy well. Arsenal fan, money. Um you know my man, me and me and H. I, know you yeah. I don't know whether you got on with my, my training partner. Yeah, it was so, 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 was so. Right. Was it was an acquired taste, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. one's cup of tea. No. Me and him had that. Parkas was like the, it, you had, after the escape, sorry, yeah. it was more like a dumping ground. Yeah. Nothing was happening the, the last time around in Parkas yeah. when they after the escape. It, everything could turn around and everyone was, on, yeah. but I think Phil Curry was even, no, Phil Curry was there, the prison officer that yeah. you, like, you mentioned on, on my one. The, yeah. the one um, he was in Parker so the first time round briefly I think but I didn't he had been there when I was there because I was there before the escape was you there before the escape few as well? times yeah yeah, yeah. Frank was few there times, few times yeah, yeah you, Frank actually always, always thought talking, well of that Phil Curry they used to get on well he, he always said he was a they decent well, guy yeah, yeah, that's right. which uh, yeah. surprised me and I thought well, yeah because you don't be. really talk but, but, many but, other screws that's but what Frank I to say that about a screw Phil you know yes shout out to you we love about Uncle Phil nice to meet you know I'm glad to yeah. see that you're uh, on the men, mate. Yeah. You know, well, I know he's, he's been through a lot. Yeah, he's not, yeah. he's not on the men, he's still fighting, to be honest. But, oh, right, okay. But, um, we love Phil Curry. Keep the fight, mate. So, and yeah, that Paul Fink. But yeah, Frank's but, got oh, one of him. I heard, I can't remember where it was, because obviously I wasn't there this time, but I heard, because someone asked me the other day in one of my messages, they said that Billy Burnside, yeah, me, who you're talking about going to interview, him and Danny Reese. A kid called Danny Reese from East London who was. Oh, that prick. Is it true? Did you ever fight him? You didn't, you What's ever, that? Did you have a row with him? Was straight with him? Or Me? No, like no. Oh, uh, couldn't stand the fucking fella. He was. Um, no, I never had a row with him. No, no, no that's what no. I heard anyway. That's what no, I was thinking, he, but I didn't, he, I don't know didn't get on with him. No. Uh, down the block in Long Light, and me and uh, Rob Courtney from London. Yeah. Your Turk. Yeah. Used to give him loads. Basically, it was the, it was the block Audley and Parker, stand Long Light. But he was a shit horrible cunt. I mean, he used to help the screws bend cons up and stick oh, the boot no. into cons. You know, when they're bent up by screws, he's a fucking dog. I heard that, you know, he was married to the black Linda Cab, wasn't he? And when yeah, she, right, Linda, when she yeah. dumped him, apparently he hung himself. I'd like to have been there to hung on to the end of his fucking legs to make sure he fucking done himself proper. So you lot, you five you or know, six to keep asking me about Danny I Reese. hope he dies an horrible person. Because remember him and, Tony Ar him and Tony Argent had a thing once. Remember way back in the day, Tony put on said some looks when to come in the showers and all that. But Fair play people, to you, Tony. Oi, but, what, he's a con. He's, 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 he's Danny Reese. I don't, I don't know him that well, but I spent a little time with him. Oh, so that was the, he was helping the officers yeah, kick the cons, helping you, the prison officers. You, you ask, you ask Tony, you ask your mate you know, Tony. You know, yeah. When you see him, he'll tell you I'm right. Yeah, yeah. So he didn't have a shave with him. It was that. So basically, yeah. you down the seg with him, and yeah. you witnessed. It was the old way. I witnessed it. Gordon Benny. I witnessed it. He, he used to he used to go and fucking put it on fucking cons. Bother screw you all say like you've been giving a screw some chelp and that, and then it like yeah. Danny Reese would come to your door and slam it on your fucking toes by the screw. Yeah, I've seen it. Well, I didn't say it. I'm doing this as answering. You knew that you, the one question some of you asked me sometimes, 
there's going to be men that come on my podcast and, and enlighten certain people asking questions about certain individuals and in their, it's their opinions at the end of the day I wasn't there um, but these were rumours that go around and other rumours as well and now you get someone that was actually down a seg when it happened if you get what I mean so oh so that bit that bit's true um, yeah 100% yeah. it's Tony, true Tony I couldn't stand it but anyway well that, yeah so you did have well, a straight well Tony ain't a bad judge of character no he's definitely not a bad judge of character um, so yeah, Billy swerve, swerving that. Um, what was what was the other bit? So then after that, when you finished the the sixteen and a half years, sixteen years ten months, said sixteen years ten months. Yeah, right. So yeah, he went away. I mean, he's nineteen years old, kid yeah. like me, yeah. but even worse, probably worse in one go. A big sentence at that stage. Okay. You came in. You came out at 32, 33. 33. How did it feel after all those years incarcerated? losing all your childhood, institutionalised, yeah. like me, from a very early age, with all the um, traumatisation and everything, you've got to come out now. Well, yeah, then, then you find you know, a lot of people have died and then you get a lot of people that have settled down, they've moved on with their life yeah. because you're stagnates, you know, and you're remembering people uh, uh, as they were when you went away, that things have moved on, Yeah, you know. Um, and then I found, you know, that you, you got, you know, it's so difficult because what have you got to say for yourself? Like you might be sat in a company with a few few women, but you went away. Last time you were talking to a, a woman, you were a kid. You know, now you're a 33 year old man. And what have you got to say for yourself? You know, you, you've just spent, no life experiences. Outside. No, you spent so much of your life um, in prison with very dangerous men. Yeah. You know, so a lot of it, you know. You, you know, you go, you go on big downers then, you know yeah. what I mean? Because, uh, you know, you, you, you realise then that your life has totally stagnated and then it, it's like, you know, try to find your way through and dig your way out of a big, big tunnel that, you know, it's like digging through sand. You know, the more you dig, just more, just caves back in where you do, you know what I mean? Um, You're like a blind man lost in Yeah, sea. yeah, yeah. And then, Billy, so you basically, you felt... Like probably I did hopelessly lost. It's just yeah. a good name, but it's a good saying. But yeah. It's a true saying as well. I was going to ask you about relationships then, because okay. when I when I was little, I had a little childhood love. Like before I went to Ellsbury, but, yeah. you know that was yeah. I only had one lady, uh, one girlfriend in that very early age. So your relationships up until thirty three, no lady relationships or well, I'd had, visits, I'd had, visits I'd had, I'd had, I'd like had, I did little girlfriends you know nothing serious you know just you know girlfriends that you have when you're young yeah uh but nothing you know mate not you know i got another sentence then after i got out shortly after i got out i wasn't out long yeah um got three and a half and uh four burglary <clears throat> right like how long was you out from that 16 10 uh about five months oh no I don't know what that feels like. And then uh, when I got out again. After the three and a half? Yeah. Where did you serve that, Bill? Do you remember? That three and a uh, half? Because you're not in the ACATS no more. No, that, no, right? but no. still various jails. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I got out from that, I met my wife. So that would have been. You come out, you do half of that, 34, so about 35, 36, you met your wife? Yeah, about 36, yeah, yeah. So. Did you go back to jail after that three and a half? No, Never. No. No, you sure, Bill? No. Uh, you've done two big. You've done a, the sixteen. Oh, you've done a three and a uh, half. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I have recently done it, uh, an eighteen month. Yeah. A couple of years ago, but other than that, no. No, Bill. No. Um, you know, she she's totally transformed my life. Kids. You know, yeah, two kids, two lovely daughters, yeah. But luckily for them, look like the mother. Oh, you know, there's my wife it? over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that she's, picture. Oh, she's beautiful, isn't she, Billy? Yeah. So you've got the glory, you've got the holy grail right Would you like to show your audience, my wife? Oh, sorry, then, we could have a little look. Bill, if you don't mind. Do you want me to grab her? Yeah, you go, yeah. You're stronger than me these days. <laughs> <laughs> go on, I girl. always was, wasn't no, no, I? No, no, she is, she is, she is yeah. quite beautiful. But there you go, my uh, We could say, we could say that she saved, she saved him. He's an angel, like go. I've had the norm, yeah. Philippines. Um, too lovely. She looks badly young. She's she's uh, in in. Uh, Gordon Bennett. Who's that handsome geezer there? Well, that's me, mate. Gordon Bennett. <laughs> she's. What? That's what you look like in the old days, yeah. isn't it, Bill? Yeah. 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 And there's our little dog, Chinky. 
Yeah, well, she, so she's... Uh, she saved you. Yeah. She gave you, showed you something that you'd never seen. Yeah, she's 41. She's 41. Yeah. Well, she saw something in you that was nice. Yeah, uh, we, met, we met, as I said, she came over here. Uh, she's a nurse, she's working at LGI. Yeah. And uh, I was up at Edinley one time with a, with a, with a pal of mine. Yeah. Um, went into a pub then, she was there with some uh, other nurses and we, we got talking. And uh, there we go from there, my friend. Oh, I'm really happy. Bill, I got a little bit of luck near the end as well. Good on you, After, mate, So you've been so old, you. so old at the minute, you've been, you've had 13, 14 years out. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. back? No. Apart from that 18 month a few years ago. That's what we want to hear, really. Yeah. Um, uh, to be honest. She totally it. turned my life around. God, uh, give back to that, because it's really a I thought everybody's past and yeah. starting life could be so um, very important to them. As only as we get older, I used to numb all my, I used to numb out all the stuff that I went through. It's like I, I didn't really yeah. understand or didn't want to understand it. What went wrong with it? I was just on a one trip mission. Yours was buried out, but you changed. You have changed a lot, a lot since I seen talk to you them days. Yeah, yeah, we all have. In of course, ways, what, you just build build up more. You do. You get older. You see. You see things differently, don't you? You know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, she totally turned my life around, mate. Yeah. Uh, loving woman. Yeah. You know, um, and you know, got two lovely daughters yeah. together. Yeah. Uh, I'm really, really pleased. You know, yeah. uh, they're doing well. You know. Um, and yeah, like life's good now, mate. You know, life's good. So when um, oh yeah, we've got to cut off some more. I think we've got to cut off. I'm really happy about that. Thank like you. Next time I come down in a few months, uh, obviously I've got to do other parts of you. This is just our part one. This, this yeah, um, sure. Series, no yeah. problem. Anytime. Um, Billy, what was you gonna say again? So you, it's the sea cats after the. Well, that that's it, Ferdy. And uh, Ferdy, I was because Winter Warrior Ferdy. Ferdy, Winter Warrior Ferdy. Yeah. And the fat hot. Chip fat over yeah, uh, that was that, in that was in White. That was in Whitemore, right? Yeah, he, uh, the, the the screw was down on the bottom landing, right? And screw uh, Ferdy was up on the twos. Yeah. Uh, and, as you know, White. He was Brazilian Portuguese or something. No, he like was he um, was from Dutch Suriname. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Dutch yeah. Suriname in yeah. South America. Yeah, uh, he's Dutch, out, you know, Dutch he, he he got repatriated back to Suriname. Yeah, and he's been locked up for another murder over there. Is that true, Billy? 100%. Oh, no. 100%. And Ferdy had been nearly 70 year old now, wasn't he, you know? But he's had, he's had it now. Yeah, he's And what do you think now. about the Bronson scenario? Old Charlie not letting him out, still going for it all. And... Oh, come on, it's fucking wrong. It's mad, isn't it? Uh, but that, 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 that guy did him no fucking favours with that documentary. I know. It did him no favours at all. Yeah. You know, and at the end saying, you know, well, I don't know if it, you know, it, it might fucking stab me up with it. I don't know. What if it, and I mean, it's not as if he, he, he can say he's naive. You know, he's a reporter. Yeah. You know, he's, he's more clued up than, than the rest of us put but together. He set out, he said to do it as a trap. Like, yeah, and then he says, you know, I, I made a lot of money, and Charlie made a lot line. of money. I all I can line. see is who benefited from it was him. I don't see what Charlie's benefited. Yeah, but, if, yeah, yeah, but you shouldn't have to benefit for it. You're supposed to be helping him to get. You're supposed to be helping him to get out. He, he did it all for his own benefit. It's an horrible, it's bad, selfish con. Horrible, horrible man. Horrible, selfish con. Yeah. You know, uh, George Bambi. You know George what I mean? Bambi. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I hope he gets what's coming to him. Oh, Bill, did you meet uh, the? One of the most, so if he's talking about evil men, some of the most evil men, we know he's evil outside yeah. people like that, but for crime wise and that, anyone that you ever felt fear in their company, anyone that you thought just was a nasty bit of work, anyone like evil along the way, who was like funny, who, who could, who could jog my memory a little bit because you're coming blind to do this, to, uh... to, to, to talk about this today, your part one. So many. And there was other, I think there was other things I was meant to ask so you. So many. Well. Uh, one of the most evil that you got to think about would have to be Smitherman. That's who I was. Nasty piece of work. Smitherman. That's it, Smitherman. Nasty piece of work, him, Mary, Mary, Mary and Crush were a bit better than him, though. Yeah. Because yeah. they could have a laugh, kind of. Kind yeah. of. Then they'll run off anywhere. Yes, yeah, no, they, Smitherman's yeah. an evil fucker. Smitherman's, uh, you know, the man I mean, what he did to, to the mother of his kids, you know. This is terrible. Jesus. The Smitherman, was, Smitherman was the only prisoner at, that I'd ever seen at 
this that stage. He was running around in dresses. He's running around in women's clothes, ladies' clothes. Like he never went on protection or nothing. He just he did. He just said, no. His co-defendant was with us in Parkhurst. That's right, Oggy. Okay, yeah, but the thing is, we're oh, he used to come out every morning. Do he's got he had a co-defendant Billy, and every morning. Um, Swimman's Cody, who just happened to be there or something, when he put that poor little girl's body in the grave, or something like that. The case? It, 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 no, it was um, it was the mother to his kids. Her name kids. was April or something. Yeah, it, it was the mo mother to his kids he killed. He and made a, he made a digger on grave, grave. I shot her in the nut about five times, times. And, and blew it the soil over and drove off. But Huggy used to come out every morning. You know, oh, imagine he used to come always, out always morning, down and depressed, wasn't talking he? about the case. Yeah. Because he's saying, I never could. Every, imagine a man stays with you for five years and every morning he gets up, he leans over the landing and walks up to everyone and says, It's nothing to do with me. I didn't, because he's obviously living with a paranoia that, you know, it's a nasty crime. Does he I get don't think, with that? I don't think Huggy was there through choice. I don't think he was I there through choice. I think Huggy was there through fear. He cried through the whole sentence. He never spoke about anything, he? No. As soon there. as he saw you, Huggy, he just used to walk straight up to you and yeah. say, please believe us. He was there through... Huggy's so good talking about every day. He not... was there through fear, mate. Because he was a terrifying figure. I wasn't scared of him, Smith, mate. No, I wasn't. But I, I always knew you'd have to kill him. You'd have to kill him. Uh, you know, because he, 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 he had that John Sweeney look. I don't know whether he didn't come across that. Oh, what? John Sweeney and Jigsaw. He cut Another horrible all. cunt I came across. Yeah. But that Jeremy Bamber. Oh, I fucking oh, hated him. Oh, I hated oh, him. Oh, I fucking. Well. What was he in Larton when he was here? Yeah. What an arrogant prick. Yeah, tell bits of, any bits about him, Bill? Yeah, yeah. always going on about uh, his fucking. He, listen, there's people Stuck that are innocent like, in he's prison, in prison yeah. but he ain't fucking one of them. He that's fucking what, did it. That's what Razor said. He that's fucking did it. I absolutely He is fucking not one of them. No. He did it. I know he did it. Yeah. Who else was there? Yeah, I know. Who the fuck else was I there? Know. I tried to blame it on the sister, which is... Yeah, you know. But, I mean, it proven fact she couldn't have fucking done it. What? Yeah. She shoot herself once, then reloads the gun and shoots herself Something. again with a yeah. silencer on that she couldn't fucking reach. Nah, it's appalling. You know. Oh, Billy, but he, him as a person in general, he got sashed, I swear, in light on the yeah. exit. Did he, yeah, did, did uh, he? a ketchup bottle or something. He got a ketchup but, Yeah, he was a horrible arrogance. Um, you don't remember the the pamphlet and all that, Donald. Don, do you remember? Do you bump it? You yeah, I did. Time? Yeah, yeah, I bumped Wait, it. No one ever talks about him, do they? Uh, yeah, Donald. Yeah. yeah, very quiet man. Yeah, uh, kept uh, all he ever used to buy from the canteen with sins of Heinz baked beans. All he ever used to buy. I see this. Yeah, and then where was he on the wing? Full Saturn. Yeah, well, yeah. Was he wearing a protection yeah. belief? No. Why? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, the black have, pamper. Yeah, black pamper. You're on the back. Yeah. You're thinking of Dennis. In, no, the, yeah, Don in the London the that killed all, all... Who was Pamphlet? The one that killed Donald. The, the ones that... Donald Nielsen. was the Black Panther. Donald Nielsen. Dennis killed Nielsen. Killed a lot of gay men. Yeah, that was Dennis Nielsen. He killed all the gay men. Yeah. What was Panthers? Donald? I thought Donald were... Nielsen was the Panther. Killing... Who did he murder, though? The, the post office um, clerks and that. Oh, so went, and, uh, yeah, but still bad, though. He kidnapped a millionaire's daughter called Leslie Ann Whittle and had her down a shaft in a park. Yeah. And uh, basically what's happened, the, the police were meant to keep all this area, yeah. you know, and uh, the money were going to be dropped off by pure fucking flu. And, you know, some local fucking plods in, in a panda have come driving in, yeah. ob oblivious to what's going on, this undercover thing. Donald has seen them, they reckon he's rushed back, and in panic, he fucking pushed her off the, the, the ledge because he had... He had ligature around her neck and everything, you know, down in this in this wet shape. You know, it was a uh, yeah, uh, water bit and threw her off off the ledge, bumped on, and he made his escape. So you did you believe that he never meant to do it? Well, he didn't meant to do it. Well, it was, he he, he said he done. said he says well, he didn't. And I mean, I suppose yeah, he died in prison, didn't he? Bill? Yeah, he did. Yeah, because he, he killed like four fucking people, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I believe him because at the end of the day, mate, it was never going anywhere anyway. It killed three postmasters. Yeah. So, what has he got to gain by, by, by denying it? Yeah. You know, it, it's not going anywhere. But yeah, it, all he ever used to... I remember so him... Dennis, I, why have I got that? Because so Donald Nielsen, the only time I... The Black Panther, the one I fought, was the Black Panther. He was down the second lot. When it, I was a kid. He was actually in the SSU in Full Sutton for years. And he was in Park. I swear he was in Parker's book at some time. He may no. have been. It can't be Dennis Nilsson. That that'd be Dennis that that in the killed for company. Killed all the company. gay people. Yeah, yeah. That's Dennis. Yeah. Right? Donald 
It's the Panther. Right, right. I might have got a white band a little bit. You're getting them mixed do you up. Remember, you don't remember Vinter from North East? He, he got, he's doing another life now. Middlesbrough, Newcastle. Not a band. A lot of hard men, few hard men came out in the North East. Any of them stand out in your mind, the Geordies? I uh, came across Paddy Conroy a few times. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Up in Franklin and what? Did you? Yeah, 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 yeah. What was he... Fra- uh-huh. Is that what I was saying? I saw him some places at some... What Frank we... liked him and I liked him. Did Frank like Paddy Conroy? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah? Yeah. What was Paddy like? Gift of the Gabba and all that? Yeah, he's funny. He's just a fun guy. He's just a fun guy. Accent, funny. Yeah, just a fun guy, yeah. Didn't know him well. Yeah. But, you know, we, we spoke a few times and every time yeah. I thought, I, I always found him a funny guy. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to do my little research. I really done my research on Paddy Conroy. People say that I've been with him, but I would have remembered. I don't think he's been, he might have been in the same jail with me at some stage, but not on the same wing, because you know I me, mean? my memory, I would have remembered Paddy Conroy. But um, he's up on YouTube doing his thing. Right. Was he hard? Would you say Paddy could have a row? Was he fit? He used to go into his little stuff there, Bill? Uh, Apparently he could have a row. Yeah. Uh, I never I never saw him fight. Yeah. Uh, but apparently he could have a do, yeah. So have all the Geordies, the Sayers, there's all them lot up there. Do you remember? Yeah. Did you bump yeah. into them? What about Paul Ash and all that? Ashby, Big Burn, um, Danny Webber. What's his name, Danny? Uh, Webster. What's his name again? Webber. Gary Webber, I think. The Geordies. The other ones we met. Chrissy Boyle, you don't remember him, from Darlington. He's my yeah, I know Chris Boyle, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I he's doing life. He's doing life, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, he got a 30 wreck, I think. He got a 30 wreck. He yeah. was, he was killed two leg- people, didn't he? Two, yeah, that's right. He was a legendary hitman as well. Yeah. And yeah. some graft of him yeah. at Steady. I don't think you remember Steady from Manchester. Funny, though, Steady. Not a no, yeah, well, I Chris Paul Where's Dan Chris Paul? Did he? That's what I'm hearing. He got started going to mental health. Because he'd be my age, about 50. He yeah. is. That's him. Um, bald, had a bald head thing. So Chris has died, has he? That's what I had. He's committed suicide. But no. I don't know how true it is. You hear these things all the time. It's like because he had a couple of kids and that, you know. Yeah, I think I saw the pictures. I teamed up with him a couple of times. Um, from Manchester. I don't remember uh, other names. Parnell, like big... Like from our age, from Manchester. Uh, I, 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 I remember. Um, what about Massey? Never came across him. Never came across Paul Massey. Dominic Noonan. Did. Dominic Noonan. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I was gutted when I when I heard he'd been nicked for that. You know. And Why? Because oh, it's shocked. I was shocked. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I never thought he was. He was like that. I always knew he was gay. Yeah. Uh, knew that, but I didn't think. Uh, I didn't think it. it, it, it you know that. Yeah. Happened. You know, I, I liked him. A lot of people didn't. Yeah. He's a quiet here, but I, I always found him a funny guy. You know, I always found him he, funny. He didn't. He's, he's looked with the glasses and all that. He's yeah, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could have a little round. He could have a little round. Yeah. Could have a little round but yeah. He's just, he's be, yeah, all that. yeah. He was just, um, oh, I don't know, but I know I've got a video up there with um, Sarah Jane Baker. I've done an interview. Remember, I, I told you. Yeah. And she was blurting out some stuff, Sarah. I don't, sometimes I feel to put the video up here. I'm doing another part thing with Sarah Jane Baker. But some of the things she says, I was thinking, oh, I don't want Because so, sometimes I think I don't want to get people in trouble on my platform and cause these little things. But it's, a lot of this stuff is in the public eye where they're talking about, mm. you know, they're predatory in certain little ways and other ways and all that kind of stuff. But Desi, Damien, they was proper stuff, though. Yeah. The Noonans. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bit of serious family. Yeah, they're serious family. Mm. But Dominic, Dominic could have a little row, couldn't he? Because when you couldn't uh, really walk yeah. up to, you, I mean, you I, 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 I liked him. Mm. I did. You know, mm. I always found him a funny guy. Yeah, he used to get older things as well. You, know, you can always pull a few. He didn't give a things. fuck about the screws. Nothing no, like no, that. No, you know, no. he was. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say shock, really, you mean kind of disappointed? Yeah, I was disappointed. Yeah, yeah, that'd be the better word. Yeah. 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 What about up the, the scousers up there, Billy? You can't must remember, don't you remember Barry Williams or... Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah it's always about your height. Yeah. It's always about Barry yeah. Williams. Yeah. yeah. Barry with old... Yeah. Came Williams. across quite a few scousers on yeah. one of his travels, you know. Um, never saw Curtis Warren, did you? No, no, no. never did. No. I met people that were close to him, yeah. or allegedly close to him. Yeah. But uh, I, I never uh, met him, no. Like Kenny Noy, Mickey McAvoy, the old Brink Smack lot, none of them lot. Met, met, met Mickey. Mickey met Mickey. Met Mickey. Uh, never met Kenny Noy. No. No. What about Palmer and all them? No, no, no. No, no never came across. No. Never ca- came across Mickey. Uh, You're going to talk about your Leeds lot. Yeah. Right here, like legends or like faces. 
because you know I I'm, I I know a few really from that back in the day. When you look back on Yorkshire's history from your age group and there and the standout figures from not now, of course, they're not everybody's retired or dead now, aren't they? But yeah. then you stand out names that for the fighting thing and that kind of viewers like all that kind of stuff. Billy, who we say could have Frank was an I say Frank was a hard man. Yeah. I put him in my hard feet, man, but I don't not really have him even though he could have a row, he wasn't like a fist man, really, was he? he was oh, strong. Frank, Frank, Frank could have a tear up. He could have a tear up, innit? That's what oh, I put him in. But have he, wasn't, he wasn't. I put him in my desk. And he, 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 he had a right old dig on him. He had a white old dig on him. Yeah, trust me, he did, yeah. Yeah. You got it by his right hand, mate. You've not. So I've got it. I've got that right. But there's people saying to me, yeah, but he's not the elite, yeah, I mean, for the hardest. I said, well, I saw him as I saw him as quite hard. Depends what you base hard men on yeah, in some ways. Yeah, it was. He was laugh, cha- he was cheeky chappish as well. Yeah, Frank was Frank fun. Was, like, Frank did, was fun. Frank was fun. serious. That was a yeah, sad... Frank was fun. Mate, yeah. you know? If you were Frank's friend, you were his friend. Yeah. What do you think? Did you meet Delroy Showers then? No, I met Michael. I met Michael. Yeah. And Michael was carrying himself. Yeah, I liked Michael. Yeah. I, I was on the wing. I was on the same Spurs. You know, like full sort of. Yeah. Uh, a, B, C, D wings, yeah. same as A, B, C, D in Franklin. Yeah. You're the squares with the yard in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And I was on the same spur as uh, Michael. I was actually, what, two or three doors down. Yeah. I, I liked Michael. You were, that was when you were young, you were young. That's yeah, so quite, yeah. like me. When you were young, everybody kind of look out, looks out. Cause yeah. Kind of, I remember because yeah. he, he always used to listen to, you know, classical music yes, when they were yeah. pissed. Yeah, it's been fucking. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Over and that but kind you know, yeah, but that was Michael. He was sophisticated. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but that was Michael. He carried himself. He carried, I don't know. I don't you could always have a good conversation with Michael. Michael about anything. Yeah. Yeah. I liked him. Yeah, I liked him. He always had a bit of time for me. You know, as a young one, lad. One hour fifteen. I wonder. Could, I know. I've missed some bits. I just want to get part one up there. And there's more. Um, Do you want to pause it? Seems you've said that. Um, Billy, shall, shall, no, we can't. Can Give it a little pause, bro. You can't yeah. pause. I don't know how to pause it. I don't know how to pause it. We could get a drink and come back. Right. Oh, yeah, but listen, all right. Yeah, Uncle Young's a bit slow these days at the moment. Just fitting my feet. My nerves are jangling all over the place today. Um, Billy, Bob, please, man. We're going to get down to part two. I absolutely love okay, you. Okay, mate. And um, thank you very for much. Hospitality with all the. Thank you. Uh, Any time, mate. Thank and, you for um, having me on. For turning your life around at the moment, Billy. Uh, and then we're going to go into, when we do part two, we'll go into like right, more so stories and more kind of stuff. just give a shout out. You, oh, yeah, give a shout you, out. You, on my, met, on my little, what's his name? You've, you've met my, my, you've met name, my yeah, friend Scott. Scott and his I son, Joey. Yeah, 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 Joey, my Joe, boy. I'm coming around the corner. Joe McLean, who's right. like a nephew of me. Yeah. Much love, Joe. Keep your chin up so I don't miss it. Yeah. You're the boy. Yeah. All right. Loads and here's Yammy B. You'll come up and meet him later. Loads of love to you all. And, um... I'm glad I got this part one out of the way, but Billy turned his life around 13 years out um, the last time I saw him, 27 years ago. There's more to come. Send a special love to you all.